What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and in today's video I'm doing this drugstore makeup look with a twist. Everything had to be $10 or less. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. It was a bit of a challenge to keep all of the products within the price range, but I made it work and I think everything is really, really good. I love everything I used. I can't wait to show you, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Be a part of my beauty YouTube family. Also, I just wanted to mention I am filming at a different time of day, so you see the sun in the background, the light is gonna change. I hope that's not too distracting for you guys. And I'm doing a voiceover. I've never done one of these before. So I hope you guys like this voiceover tutorial. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with brows, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I just got this and it's already a new favorite. I'm going to outline the bottom of the brows first, then the top, and then go in and fill in the center wherever I see any sparse areas and I just really love how natural this pencil looks on the brows. I'm just going in upward strokes here to fill in the front of the brow and this pencil is just so good I can't say enough good things about it. Now taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow base. And I'm going to put it all over the lid and blend it out gently using my makeup sponge. This makes sure it's not too heavy. Now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Um, Bite Size Eyeshadow Quad. It's so pretty. These are perfect neutral eyeshadow shades for an everyday makeup look. And then I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade and blend that into the crease and blend it towards the top of the crease as well. It doesn't have very many shades to choose from, so I'm gonna go in with the Milani Bronzer and use that as another blending shade in the middle of the crease just to add some more depth to the eye and give it a nicer blend. Then I'm going to take the darkest shade and kind of go out almost like an eyeliner. And then I'm going to take it into the middle of the crease going back and forth to really get it nice and pigmented in that center. Then taking the concealer again, I'm just going to cut the crease softly and top it off with this beautiful shimmering champagne shade. It's not bright white it's kind of off-white but it looks stunning and then the NYX um, eyeliner okay this is going fast <laughs> hydrating primer from hard candy I love this I definitely feel like it helps my makeup to stay on longer I don't really notice the hydration as much but I have a hard time noticing primers anyway so you saw the foundation I was using and I'm just gonna blend it in um, with this wet and wild makeup sponge this is the NYX born to glow foundation and it gives you a really nice glow without being too shiny so I think any skin type would like this but especially dry skin now I'm going in using the makeup revolution um, foundation stick and I'm just going to blend out the contour here and the bronzer. I kind of showed you how I was pushing and going in an upward motion to uh, blend it out. Now the Can't Stop Won't Stop from NYX. Man, NYX is like the star of this video. I really love their products. They're really great. I love this concealer as well because it's full coverage and it blends out easily and it gives a really beautiful finish to the skin. Now for the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, I'm gonna take this underneath the eyes to set that concealer, and then I'm gonna grab a brush and dust off the powder before it gets too dry and cakey looking. I don't want it to sit very long. Then to set the rest of the face, I'm going in with this Pro Face Powder from LA Girl. It has a little bit of color to it, and then I'm going back in with the Milani Bronzer 
just to set all of the contoured areas. Now for my favorite blush, this is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Earthy. It's the perfect peachy brown shade. I love this blush so much. Now to set it all, I'm taking the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It smells like peaches, it's delicious. Now for my favorite highlighter, this is the Master Chrome Highlighter from Maybelline. It's a beautiful golden shade and it goes on the skin so pretty. The NYX Lip Liner is in the shade Ever and I'm just going to outline the lips and fill them in as well. And then finish it with the ColourPop Lippy Sticks um, Lippy Pencil uh, Gosh, what is it called? <laughs> the lippy stick because it's creamy and it will bring some more hydration to the lips because the lip liner can be a little drying by itself. This color is in the shade Cami and it is my absolute favorite color. I always get compliments when I wear it. I'm gonna top it off with the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Boho. And this is just the most beautiful lip gloss to top this lip combo it is gorgeous now for the lashes the ColourPop BFF volumizing mascara in black I'm just gonna coat the top lashes with that this is a great mascara for the price and then I'm gonna also do the bottom lashes then Ardell Wispies, they're a classic, they're my fave. I'm gonna pop these on off camera and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look with the lashes on. What do you guys think? I love it. I love all of these products and the best part is that they're affordable. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel so you could be a part of my beauty YouTube family. Hit that notification bell as well if you wanna be notified when I have new uploads. And feel free to follow me over on Instagram, that's Anna Hudgens Beauty. All the links will be listed down below and all the products and everything mentioned will be down below as well. So check out the description box, leave me a comment, let me know what drugstore makeup you like the best. And that's about it. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays. And I will see you in the next video.